it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House Homeschool. Thank you so much for coming back or thank you for being here if you are new. I am a homeschool mom of four. I have a daughter who is 14 and three sons who are 12, 6, and 3. And I've been homeschooling for almost 11 years now. So just a little background. This first haul is from Rainbow Resource, which if you haven't checked them out, they are an amazing vendor every year. I, I source uh, curriculum or supplements to our curriculum, like these little games and stuff that I'm excited to show you. But I will leave their information down below. And this video isn't sponsored by any means. This is just uh, a vendor that I really love and have been using Rainbow Resource for a really long time. So ago. having said that, this haul is going to um, cover those grade levels, ages from uh, three to 14. Oh, I love to incorporate games into our homeschool, whether they're games that pertain to history or geography or phonics, or I just love incorporating games. So I've got this little ABC match game. And, um, here, let's open it. Let's see what, let's see what's going on. This is like only like $10, $13. Oh, it looks like you put the dice in here. Yeah, it looks like you put the dice in here and then you shake it up. It looks like you've got these. I need to read the instructions if you roll it out. Yeah, and this can be something that the child can just discover on its own. It's ages four plus, but he can um, or she can put out the picture and then it spell out the letters just on, on their own. So I'm going to give this to my son right now. He's six and he loves all these things too to play on his and own. It. Okay, and we do have these little pencil grips that um, I believe my three-year-old and my my six-year-old still too would benefit from these. So we are doing ancient Egypt this year, at least for the first part of the year, and we do all that with a good and beautiful. If you haven't checked um, my last video out, it's pretty much what we are learning in, in school this this year, and it's primarily from the good and the beautiful. So we do already have a lot of books and um, and and things and maps um, that pertain to ancient Egypt, and I want to do a homeschool room tour here. Uh, maybe maybe we'll do that next week. But this is fun with hieroglyphs, and it's got looks like it's got some yeah 24 rubber stamps. There's an ink pad here and then we've got like a little book and this is um, from the Metropolitan Museum of Art and we've got some stamping secret messages words and phrases um, just uh, yeah Egyptian scribe just more about Egyptian paper oh that's one thing I did forget I meant to get some of the papyrus that um, that Rainbow Resource has, or at least it might, it might not be the real thing. It may be like a replica of it. I'm not sure, but I meant to get that, but we'll just have to do without it this year. So, but yeah, decipher these, the names, right? Like an Egyptian, stamp these words and hieroglyphs. So really excited to um, have this in our ancient Egypt unit study. And we've got the oh okay so we i did order a a book set that was it was around fifty dollars but it came with like six really nice books so this one is the historical atlas of ancient egypt now obviously we are not going to be teaching i'm not going to be teaching from this because this is sort of a it's not really a living book it's just something to have for reference and so i'm not going to be um you know if the children want to read Maybe I might do a reading assignment on like the New Kingdom, um, but as you can see, it's it's pretty factual and uh, just fun. But we we tend to be more involved in living books. But I do like to have these maps and um, yeah, wars of a reunification. I like to have these on hand, and sometimes I'll even um, I'll even laminate some of these. But we'll see. We'll see how far we get into. Do this this is what definitely would be towards my 14 year old and, and 12 year old so we've got that i'm gonna go ahead while we're on ancient egypt i'm gonna stick to um show you what else we got from him. okay so we've got step four into reading so this would 
you know what? These books don't be um, just because there's a, they're like a reader level step four or step whatever. Um, older kids can benefit from this, and it tells their stories here. And you know, we we do this a lot. We um, meet with with my older kids because. This, even for my six-year-old, would way be way too, too much, uh, too much for him. But he could look at the pictures, um, and then I might do actually a read aloud and, and use this. So that would be good. Okay. Some more books. We have the landmark books. We have the Pharaohs of Ancient Egypt. I believe this is fiction. Yes. Now, I do love to incorporate fiction as well into our unit study, especially for my older children. Um, it just kind of kind of helps them escape a little bit, a little bit maybe at night, and it's kind of in their minds and uh, in their heads about what we're learning in school, and it can coincide with their reading at night or during the day. Um, Actually, is this Egypt? Yeah, actually, this is not fiction, but I do like to incorporate fiction. I may not have a, a fiction. A fiction. You probably think I'm crazy. Um, I'll need to get some fiction books on ancient Egypt. I know, I know, I know there's there's some of them, but there. Okay, it's written in a way that is if it's storytelling, which is good. So, so I like this. So grade six in it. And then we have Where is the Sahara Desert, which I love these books, the Where is series. Um, so we've got all of this, tectonic plates, deserts of the world, mysterious mirages. So I love this. I love pulling from a lot of different sources. Okay, so I can put a couple more books on Ancient Egypt, The Greenleaf Guide to Ancient Egypt History for the Thoughtful Child. Now this is a little different. Again, this came with the the whole um, set or the whole the group of books that they came packed together, but I was so excited I had to, I went ahead and, and uh, unpacked them out of their wrapping and, and looked at them. But looks like the, these are lesson plans. Maybe like on a Thursday, especially a lot of times Thursdays we homeschool Monday through Thursday, and uh, for for a full day we take a, a bit a pretty long break on lunch, uh, so we do like a morning session and then we'll do an afternoon session, and I can get into that on another video to share with you. We might do this on like a, on a Thursday because on Thursdays we don't really learn have new learning. We sort of go back throughout the week and see what you know see what we've learned. And um, so we like to either play games or we may do like one of these it's secret messages. So I really like this. I wasn't expecting a little um, a lesson plan book like this, but there's vocabulary in here that I'm really liking. That's what I love about unit studies. You incorporate different facets of, of everything, cooking and music and vocabulary and, and writing essays. Poetry, even so. So yeah, I'm gonna have to to look through that this this week. Let me know if you're starting or when you are starting homeschool. If you do homeschool, you might just be someone who is. Um, which I know a lot of you are come over, come over from my other channel, the Carriage House, and I really really appreciate the support that you give. But whether you are um, just someone who is interested in learning about how what what we do on a regular basis as far as homeschool or if you do homeschool i'd love to know what your schedule is or anything that you'd love to share that would be beneficial to all of us in the comment section okay i think this is the last egyptian book how i love this author aliki um we have so many of these books about senses and like quiet in the garden there's just there's i love i love this this author and they also do the illustrations as well. So, a little bit about just the history. I like the, the little pictures and drawings. Okay, so now I only got a couple more things. Okay, this one more, I lied. <laughs> one more. Um, oh, this is kind of interesting. This is. A book based on how the pyramids were built so we may end up doing sort of like a science or 
a STEM sort of project. I'll have to look up online. Um, but yeah, this is this is pretty dry, so that I wouldn't consider this a living book. But we could learn quite a bit from this from maybe a STEM point of view, which my husband and my kids would probably do something like that. So this is kind of interesting. Uh, the layout of how they hauled everything to make these amazing pyramids and things like that. So okay, we're also doing a unit study on gems and minerals, rocks, that sort of thing. Oh, my candle went out. Smithsonian DK. Oh, those are always wonderful books. And I uh, love this. Very colorful. fossils here which we'll be learning about as well and they're just I love these these pictures they're beautiful they're bright and colorful uh, which can really draw a, a child's attention to and so I'm really looking forward to like again again this is just a sup a book to have just a supplement so we may look through it and uh, if we have especially if we have some of these rocks already or minerals I like to have collected over the years, many years, pyrite, we definitely have all that. And then we can actually look, instead of getting on the computer, we um, we have books, actual books to look look uh, into. <laughs> so, so I really love this, love the colors. Sedimentary rocks, metamorphic rocks, igneous rocks, we're gonna be going into all of that. So I'm really excited to have this in our homeschool room as uh, on display. Okay, and then we have these separate books here, which were really inexpensive, exploring sedimentary rocks, metamorphic again, igneous. So just to go in a little bit more in depth on the particular uh, particular rock form formations here. And we'll, we may spend like a couple weeks on metamorphic rocks. Um, and we do have a, like I said, we do have this kit I'll have to show you that's got all of these uh, samples of these types of rocks. I think there's like 50 of them. And then I also too have some of my own that I've collected over the years. So yeah, just going deeper into these. So I got these. And then I just have a couple more things to show. I did see this, I thought it was really cute. It's Pete the Cat, a uh, perfect pizza party game that I thought my, um, my sons, my youngest sons would like to play, so. And then I saw these, I love this. This is uh, meant for vocabulary, um, whether it's vocabulary tests or they're um, doing copy work vocabulary, but instead of using, you know how a standard uh, paper is, the, um, it, it takes up a lot of, you know, it's kind of hard to organize where you're putting all your vocabulary words. So I love this here and it's meant for just, you know, doing vocabulary words and things like that. So each child will have their own, except for my three-year-old. Um, so really, really love this. This is something new that I saw this year and just really like those. And they're perfor perforated, perforated too, so you can, you can take them off like that. And then I've got one last thing, which I actually don't have. Oh, here they are. Okay, so my youngest son, my three-year-old son, loves these. And he was asking for, I was, you know, I didn't want to take anything out of the boxes and, and start yet until homeschool actually started next week. I want to keep everything put away. But he ended up seeing these. He didn't see the pizza party one, so that's good. Uh, but my three-year-old loves these um, tin box, these Unifix cubes so there's a lot of them that, but I only found I think he's actually he has them in the basement right now if he's with my older oldest son down there so uh, he has the rest of them but I love these we use them in math we use them you know they they like to sort them to by color or they like to make even like to, you know tall tallest tall tall taller tallest I mean there's so many they're endless ideas on what you can use these for but primarily for math that is it for this haul and i just wanted to say thank you so much for 
again coming back or thank you for being here if you are new and i hope to see you next week in my next video take care bye